Hey guys, this is Project Shiva, and I am doing an update. Now, if you're gonna check, um, check here. I'll tag it right here. Um, I am. I finally got something. That I've been waiting. To be honest, I, I like the plastic slide. Now it's gonna keep this 100% TM and 100% AIP. But I finally got something that was just screaming, put it on the sky. And I know some people are gonna be saying that's too much blue. But hey, you know what? I want something that's cool and different and, you know, it's unique. Alright, so this is just, you know, like I built for myself. You guys should build for yourself. Well, I have a choice between these two slides. Now, if you check when I when I put the little tag here, this is the new stuff by Airsoft Masterpiece, alright? And it's literally a first to market. These are blue slides, anodized blue. Now, I'm going to take them out and show you to you. And I think... I'm going with the Limcat, even though I'm not a Limcat fan. I'm really not. A, I don't like the logo. I just don't like it. It's just, it's not my kind of thing. I'm more of a Stray or Signature or Infinity kind of guy. But I'm just gonna go with the Limcat one because they, you know I think it just looks more different, and unique. But although the Infinity ones just look sexy, man. Okay. So that's this one. And what we're gonna do is just actually install the parts. Now I'm a little worried because I have the EIP steel barrel, so I don't know if the lugs are going to line up right or if there's going to be fitment issues. We'll see. I'm already expecting that I'm going to have to do some fitment to the racker because that's pretty common that you do have to do fitment for the rackers to actually you know fit in the rear sight. So this is what we're going to put onto my Project Shiva. All right, and this is a, just a very aggressive uh, slide. That's why I'm a big fan of this aggressiveness. This is my probably one of my favorite serrations ports in the front here. This is literally my favorite part. If I could get this stuff gone, I would die a happy person. But everyone has their own taste, and that's just mine. But this we're, we're gonna put this on. This is a TM High Kappa. It's uh, it was I'm gonna put it in right here, Project Shiva. Uh, I built this a while ago. It's been literally a workhorse. That's great. The loading nozzle broke the AIP one, but other than that, it's been working great. I am still worried about the uh, the hop up unit, but that hasn't broken yet. So let's take it out. I'll put that here. Lay it down. Um, stick this out. Yeah, we'll see if the uh, the guide, because you can see this is a blue one. We'll see if that works with this or not. And I'm gonna take it out of screen, guys, because I got it's really hard to. Uh, Get the short stroke out, so I have to push it against my uh, stomach. And here is where I'm worried about, because this is the uh, AIP steel barrel, and I don't know if these lugs are correct or anything. That's what happens when you start mix, you know, mixing stuff. But I'm gonna make it work. Yeah, we're taking out the rear sight. I'm gonna have to re-glue that. I had I put a hint of blue Loctite on there. You can see that it came out good enough. Don't forget the uh, rear screw. And we'll, we're gonna see right now, guys, if this is a drop in or not. I've already installed um, their normal 5-1 slides, like you know your typical Shui Infinity uh, limb cat ones, but I haven't done any work with the anodized, you know, full color ones. So we'll see if this is a, uh, a drop in. Uh, once again, I'm not. I'm not expecting a drop in, but you know, you can always be surprised. And this, we're out for that. And here's the uh, sh crappy Wii nozzle. I, I don't know why I still have this in here. I think I was trying to keep this a budget gun, so I, I sort of stuck true to it. And I, I think I'm just going to take that out one day because it's sometimes with double feeds, it's really annoying. I know it's a loading nozzle. Alright, guys, here's the moment of truth. Here is the moment of truth. There's always been a drop in. Okay, drop in. Let's see if it's flush. I know it's not focusing, but seems good enough to me. Great. Nice drop in, unlike your garter slides. <laughs> um, let's see next if the. Um, the racker, I'm not expecting this to be a drop in. I 
yeah, not a, I'm going to have to do some fitment. So, um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I don't want this video to be 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is don't do this. Don't ever do this step, guys. I'm just going to install what it out the, the rear sight for now. And then I'm just going to see how it is on the slide. And, I, and once again, guys, do not do this. And what we're doing is we're going to test to see if the AIP steel outer barrel works with this. Okay. And you still have the return screen here. So be careful, guys. Because that can come out and you're going to ruin it. So try not to rack as much. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, that is not uh, not gonna. Uh, let's just push it through. We'll see what happens. That was a very tight fit, all right. But okay, we'll see how it works. Okay, it's, we're in. That was a very very tight fit, and I'll see if it did any uh, steel versus aluminum. Okay, we're down to the, we're not going to use the uh, the silver one it came with, we're using the AIP plug, so we'll see if that works. Woo! Okay, drop in guys, the uh, AIP, uh, the plug for 5.1, drop in, this is the AIP steel guide rod. So this is what it looks right now. Imagine <laughs> this on here. So it's a lot of blue, okay? I'm not going to lie, guys. It's a lot of blue. All right, so we have that out. Um, now, these, the Prog 4 ones, uh, no, not Prog 4, I'm sorry, Gunsman Pro, they're always tight. People complain that, because uh, I've had some people complain that they're tight here. Oh, okay, well, this one didn't exhibit it. It's not tight. Okay. Well, actually, this didn't have any of that issue. Uh, some slides, the common ones, the common ones I installed for, um, what's it called? Uh, I've installed the normal Airsoft Masterpiece ones. Okay. And they're, they're tight on the first rail, but what you guys can do is um, you can use, like, silicone and just soak the front rails, and you just, you, you hand rack it. You just sit in front of the TV, and you just hand rack it. Obviously, you saw this one didn't actually require any fitment, which... Probably because this TM has been used a lot. Okay, this this TM is actually pretty old. Okay, All right. So, but check out the uh, the tolerance. Once again, this is a very old TM. So I okay. I'm gonna move it left to right. Can you guys see that? Oh no, no. The uh, I move it left to right, up to down. Okay, and keep in mind this is a very old TM. So uh, there you guys go. This is the airsoft masterpiece. Uh, anodized slides. They have a uh, blue. You can see the uh, where's the red one at? Where's the red one? There you go. There's the red one. So, oops, I don't know light. So there you guys go. It's uh, this is a very cool new look. Okay, here's my uh, blue magwall. I only have one of these guys. These guys are expensive, thirty plus. And so you guys can get this from uh, Alpha Airsoft. Check in the description. And then, uh, if you guys have any questions, ask. And you saw from right here that it was a, it was a drop in, 100% drop in on an old TM. If you have a new TM, you might need a little hand racking, and you should be good. Okay, so I'll see you guys around, and have a good day.